praise the Lord. It is such a joy to share with you all on the revelation that Holy Spirit revealed during my quiet time as I feel that it will be a blessing to you. I would like to share here so that it will be a blessing to your life as well. I was uh, I was also focusing on this word John 8:32. It says, "Know the truth and the truth will set you free." The next verse is John 4:24. God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. As I was even meditating on 1st Peter uh third chapter, uh some of the things I was focusing on was it opened my eyes, my spiritual eyes when God was revealing to me some of the thing how we can connect in this present life and live that life according to what god wants us to live in 17th verse in first peter third chapter 17th verse it says for it is better if it is god's will to suffer for doing good than for doing evil for christ also suffered once for sins the righteous for the unrighteous to bring you to god he was put to death in the body but made alive in the spirit After being made alive he went and made proclamation to the imprisoned spirits to those who were disobedient long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built in it only a few people eight in all were saved through water and this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also not the removal of dirt from the body but the pledge of clear conscience toward God it saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ who has gone into heaven and is at right hand of God the Father with angels authorities and powers and submission to him what a beautiful verse it is those days like as in the days of noah noah and his family was secure in the boat they were kept secure in the ark that's only promise for noah and the family because the rest of them were completely destroyed in the water and the water represents water baptism today that when we get to the baptism of the water we get cleansed and we come with pure hearts clean hands in front of god this comes through only through jesus christ who died and rose again for us during this time of uncertainty in the world there's so much shakings rumblings peals of thunder everywhere people are not able to understand what's going on around us but when we know the truth the truth will set us free that's the only reason i would like to share this there's a lot of things happening but in the days of noah what happened was noah and the family were kept safe in the boat they were in the ark covenant of god even though the whole earth was flooded with water they were saved in the water because they were so obedient to god in this word first peter 3:20 revealed how noah and his family was obedient to god and how god loved them so much as they followed his commandments and decrees they were saved in the times of flood the whole chapter is about amazing way how when person is obedient to the lord how god takes care of his children god always takes care of his children who live in obedience with his word so even in after the days of noah many prophets and leaders and judges were sent to warn people from the rebellious ways to turn away from that and to focus on god to obey god to love him wholeheartedly to love him with all of the heart mind and soul but many people still sin and fall short of the glory of god in deuteronomy 424 says for the lord our god is a consuming fire jealous god he is a god when his wrath comes the fire consumes us he is a holy fire too when his holy spirit is upon us every darkness flees away every worries flees away every discouragement flees away as this word was speaking to me psalm 3729 the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell upon it forever righteous we need to be righteous in the presence of god follow his commandment follow his decrees follow the ways of the lord not to idolize anything of this world idolize jesus in our life our heart mind and soul should be full of jesus his word is holy spirit not anything else many people today are idolizing many things in our life we idolize the media we idolize the social media we idolize the news media we idolize uh, the medical system we idolize the kings and kingdoms of this world we depend on them we depend on other people for everything idolizing many things except idolizing jesus we idolize everything else and this is one of the word was speaking to me each one's work become manifest for the day will disclose it because it will be revealed by fire the holy spirit in us is the only one can cleanse us refines us purifies us 
and according to that we need to do every moment of our life the holy spirit fire will test us what sort of work each one has done what of what kind of thinking we have done what kind of things we have idolized in our life what is our mark what is our seal today a seal is holy spirit or seal of the anti christ we need to analyze this every moment of our life god the father loved us so much because of that according to john 3:16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. The eternal life is here on earth as well as in heaven. Many people miss that. If you don't experience heaven on earth, you will not experience heaven in eternity. That's the thing. You know, people have to understand. Believers have to understand what are we believing in? What is our belief system? Are we believing in Jesus Christ every second of our life? Are we believing in the things of the world? Believing in our own family members? Idolizing things? we need to analyze that god sent jesus christ because people were sinning going on sinning even though he sent many prophets leaders judges to go and warn them but they did not listen till they were sinning the sin was an ongoing thing and jesus christ himself came god sent his word it became flesh and jesus came and made his dwelling upon us he spoke many parables mysteries revelation and opened eyes and ears and hearts of the people but many were not till opening their eyes and hearts and ears He spoke many many revelation mysteries of God's kingdom to live a holy and righteous life to inherit the kingdom of God not only after we die when we live in Christ we can inherit the kingdom of God people don't understand that these days i just want to open up our eyes today and see how much of blessings we have when we idolize Jesus when we have Jesus as our priority when we believe in Jesus Jesus himself set us an example to take the baptism through John the Baptist and when holy spirit came descending from heaven and and god the father was telling this is my son on whom i am well pleased yes the same pattern we are following today jesus left this pattern for us we took that water baptism we took holy spirit baptism we are filled in the spirit and truth of god is with us how it would be nice to walk the way father god said jesus this is my son whom i am well pleased the same way of father god and Jesus and Holy Spirit should say the same thing about us Luke 3:16 said John answered them all saying I baptize you with water but he who is mightier than I is coming the strap of whose sandals I'm not worthy to untie he will baptize you with the holy spirit and the fire we need the holy spirit fire in revelation 26 says blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection what is first resurrection is dying in Christ and coming back to life dying from our old life and turning into new life all the old order things that start to be new orders have come once we believe in Jesus Christ when we get into the water baptism and the holy spirit baptism everything of the old self is called new self, new things have come we don't have to worry about the physical death the second death has no power over people who have got the first resurrection in them once we get the first res- resurrection we are the priest of god and we will reign with Jesus Christ forever to live and to die with Christ is important as believers are we living in the spirit today are we living moment by moment with Jesus is our life reflecting what God wants us to be that's the way we have to live when we live in the assurance of the Lord live in faith in Lord Jesus Christ standing in the firm foundation of Jesus Christ we don't have to fear anything we live in that forever and we'll reign with Christ forever to live is always to live with christ is always amazing people in this world today are fearing about the life what we eat what we drink no we don't have to worry about but jesus is a he is our life the way the truth he is our living water and living bread in luke 17:29 it says on the day when lot went out from sodom fire and sulfur rained from heaven and destroyed them all today many people all of us like we we are not operating in the holy spirit even though we have the baptism of the holy spirit we let the other fire come and destroy us we cannot live this life anymore listen my brothers and sisters let take the anointing and use it to destroy all the evil things of this world when the day of the lord is coming as in malachi 3 2 nobody can stand that we need to be ready prepared being holy pure and righteous in gold anointed fire because we want to be in the part of god's kingdom we want to be the part of the jesus already with us 
Sometimes we forget everything. We don't realize that Jesus is living with us. We don't understand that holy fire is in us. We don't make use of that. We don't operate in that. We operate in our flesh. We allow fear. We allow discouragement. We allow negativity. God has given us to choose life and death. We are going to choose life in Jesus. That is the most important thing. Let's focus on being in the Holy Spirit fire in the days to come. Our seal is the Holy Spirit fire. Holy Spirit fire comes from being in the word, reading the word, meditating the word, doing what the word says, obeying the commandments and decrees of the Lord's kingdom to live a blameless and pure and holy life, to escape the wrath of God. Revelation 20, 14, 15 says, Death and hate were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. Anyone's name is not written in the book of life will be thrown into the lake of fire. We want to live a life that when we believe in Jesus Christ, we have everlasting life. When we have everlasting life, our names are written in the book of life. That is the assurance we have. We need to walk in that assurance every moment of our life. The devil is coming to deceive us many times. With fear and faithlessness and negativity and all kinds of fear. We don't want to operate in that mode. We have to stand rooted in Christ because we are baptized in the Holy Spirit fire. Let's operate in that way to escape this evil fire of the hell. This is how we have to live. In Acts chapter 2, when we see the believers came together, they were operating in the power of the Holy Spirit. Many things happened. They multiplied. Miracles happened. Great things happened. This is the way as believers of Christ, we need to operate these days. Are we operating this way? Jesus Christ is going to be revealed again as in the days of Noah. As in Matthew 24, it says 37 to 39. For as were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. We need to be alert for the coming of the man. We need to be the bride of Jerusalem, bride of Christ. We need to be in Holy Spirit fire each moment and do things of the Spirit, not of the flesh. We need to operate in the Spirit, operate in the Holy Spirit to escape the, the destruction that is coming. Let's analyze and see, are we operating in the Holy Spirit? Are we doing what the truth of God's word says? Are we really focusing on what God wants us to focus? Are we obeying the commandments and decrees of the Lord? What the Lord has given us? Are we running after this world? And always adapted to this world? We need to, we have to analyze this and see. We need to walk as children of the Spirit, children of the Holy Spirit. Let's take this moment to give our life to Jesus and say, Lord, I want to live in your ways. I want to live in the Spirit all the time. I want to escape the wrath that is coming. I don't want to die without you. I want to live with you and die with you, Lord. Die myself in every area of my life. And know that I have the everlasting life in you. Let's take this moment to pray and say, Lord, let's let be that way. Help us to be like you, Lord Jesus. Help us to operate in the Spirit, discern things in the Spirit. And this is the devil. And the devil will flee away from us. And never operate in the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. And we'll ask God to bury all this thing that is coming from the evil one and be operating in the Spirit. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful time. Help us to be living in the Holy Spirit. Without Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. Help the Holy Spirit anointing flow and we will be able to burn every darkness around us through the operation of the Holy Spirit. Help us to be in prayer, praises, preaching the word and speaking in tongue and always operating the divine weapons you have given us to pull down all strongholds. Lord Father God, around us, help us to please you in every ways we do, every moment we live, we live for you, Jesus, only to idolize you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you all.